The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? The start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed, it's ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show from the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy, the experienced. And I'm sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. Maybe I should just do like Travis the Middlest. Maybe. That might be. Anyways, I got bad news, guys. I'm oh. so PO'd right now. It's our 600th episode. Oh big. This is big. This is big, right? Far. The We've title the title of the email you sent us with the questions this morning was it's episode 600. Whoops, cuz we well, forgot that it No, was that. I didn't forget. This the whoops, oh. the whoops comes from this, Griffin. I had so much planned. Yeah. I had I was I had like I trained these drones to do a whole thing. I don't think I've you spent trained months, I don't I've think spent you trained months training drone. the drones. <laughs> I like had hired some dancers to do like backup dancing for us for the whole episode. Just I got to, us well, all, tra- sh- sh- Travis, hey, there's an audio medium so we can say that they well, are Well, but here's the there. problem. Would never do that. No, they were tap dancers. Here's the problem because yeah, I also got us like matching jumpsuits in triplicate each yeah. for oh, our different moods. Shit. And then our CFO Jeremy said <laughs> that we couldn't afford any of that. Uh, he fucking canceled all of it. Behind our backs? No, he like did it we, in front of my face. He tore up all the contracts. Oh, okay. I was going to say, my face. it could be so embarrassing if we're like, hit it, girls! And then the backup dancers like didn't hit it because they weren't there. Well, Griffin, they weren't just girls. They were men and women and non-binary folks. And like, I, I Well, that's not, just... that, that goes expressly against my wishes, Travis. I'm sorry, Griffin. This was not just for you. This was for everybody. I had a Mount Rushmore made out of chocolate that included my face, your face, Justin's face, and Orb the Horse. And Jermu melted it Why with a flamethrower, and then he sold the melted chocolate back to Willy Wonka right in front of me. Chad, this story's getting a little far-fetched. Yeah. I don't it's think it's- all It's all true. All true. I had so much plan, and he fucking ruined it. Justin, do you want to just do like a really half-assed- like obligatory send in the clowns. I had an idea for another musical number we could bust out for this one. And what's I like great that. is that's if, fun. I like the way you did that, Griffin, when you're like, Justin, do you want to do something? But before you do, I'm I got do something. something. Well, it's yeah. just that I was thinking about sustainability. You know me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always oh, thinking about 600 it. episodes in, we're going green. Yeah, you know, um, doing just f- doing salmon f- farm. Oh yeah! To oh ta- yeah! We're salmon farm to table and farm re- to table podcast. That's reusable what we're about mm-hmm. cloth yeah. toilet paper and this big one is our carbon this song. Our carbon footprint is like great. So I've been the, working on my carbon handprints. So I was thinking we could hit them with something like this, and then we could change, just change the number every like hundred episodes. Okay, great. Thirty six thousand minutes. Oh, thirty six thousand. <laughs> jokes about ghosts or you know like then we yeah, can like right. fill like, in well, like now wait like hold on that, i worry griffin that that implies that we make one joke per minute which is I mean, just going off this episode so far not true. not true yeah we're about three and a half minutes in and there has been nary a joke it's an average though. It. yeah it's an average though we can oh okay out. so sometimes we do like <laughs> 10 jokes a minute <laughs> right yeah. yeah, all about ghosts sometimes we do 10 jokes per episode <laughs> that's true <laughs> that's what i'm saying but over 600 it averages out. Our list. There's probably a, 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 some of our listeners who are like, "Man, I can't believe they didn't prepare something for this big milestone episode." And it's like, "What have you guys prepared for us?" 
Oh, good Why question. do we always have to throw our own celebration? That's you fucked up, I mean? right? It's it's like we do this every almost two years. I don't think that's too much to ask of our listeners to be like, to, you know, get a bouncy house or some shit for us, please. I was thinking about it, by the way, 600 in 12 years, right? That's pretty good. And our, so it's like six weeks away from our actual 12 year anniversary. Mm-hmm. So like that means one, we've had a pretty good track record of putting yes. out episodes. We could have taken it way easier. We've had six kids and we did not miss like, we missed what? Like one or two episodes of this. Wait. This is what I'm saying. In 12 years, we could be up to what? Like 624. Wait, 600, so 24 episodes in 12 years. That's if we hit, when we get to like April 15th or whenever we started or whatever, right? Uh-huh. That'll be like 600 and like five. This, this right? math is not fun to listen to. I'm saying we've missed 19 <laughs> episodes in 12 years. I mean, bad. that's not bad. But we could have whiz- missed way more. Maybe right now, we'll just take the next 30 weeks off. That's, now we're cooking. Now, now we're cooking with yes. that. Hey, I'm, you got my attention back now. <laughs> we hit 600. Let's fucking coast. Let's Most coast. Podcasts, do podcasts take a gap year to like go to Spain and find ourselves? I would, I would love to cruise on down to Barcelona and just like find myself. I would oh, love to take a break from talking every single day. A gabbatical, if you will. Oh, I and love that. You love that, right? Just as some, like, oh, Justin, he's silent. He's mm. monastic in nature. Yeah. And he, and he has beautiful cacti all around his home and he tends the peaceful Justin Justin saw that Eddie Murphy movie where Eddie Murphy talked too much and someone gave him a tree with leaves on it that represented all the words he had left and Justin said I'm gonna do that but in real life and completely voluntarily that fucking movie thousand words he says a thousand words and then he dies that's the actual premise of the movie man I think you guys are thinking of Pluto Nash (laughs) right (laughs) I would accidentally sing "We Don't Talk About Bruno" to myself two hundred times and beef it. That's yeah. me. That's <laughs> you I'm only not. know you only know five words of "We Don't Talk About." Oh, you would literally just say like "We, we don't, don't talk, talk about, about Bruno. Bruno" and then just do that Die. accidentally, and I'd be like, "Fuck, that's six. Oh, do you no. guys? <laughs> hey, does this? I think we don't talk about. Mm. Shouldn't have wasted it on that fuck. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> burnt through another." <laughs> That would be that would be that would be somebody coming up to me like, "Hey, Justin, I bet you don't know all the words to hook by, by blues trap." I'm like, oh, you think I don't? You think I don't know the Man, fast part, just right? The rap, just the rap in the middle of hook, and can we call it that? Uh, oh yeah, I think it's a rap. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he I speaks think, quickly. Blues traveler does a rap in the middle of hook, and I think that's a, I think that would be enough to shuffle you off the coil. No one's ever called, called it a rap. I'm pretty sure. I bet he did. Yeah. I bet fucking John Popper was like, check out this rap I'm going to do. And everyone's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, John. Please don't do this. You're going to ruin karaoke nights forever. Um, Happy 600, boys. I'm proud of you and us. Hey, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm really excited. Do you guys ever, do people without kids ever ask you guys like, so what kind of music do you like? And all you get thing is like, well, I've been listening to the soundtrack of Encanto like on repeat for the last six weeks. So that, does that count? Is that the music I listen? It's, it's either- It's your for- favorite music. It's, it's fucked my, my like music recommendations. Any, any, any platform that is algorithmically picking like music or videos for me to watch is, is ruinous. I've even fucked up my like, my my various cues by not switching over to the kid profile. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I get it on now both it's ends. Like, hey, do you really really like uh, uh, fucking Blippy? Yeah, you got fucking Blippy. Want to see some Blippy? Monster. What if this is the year that? What if the next hundred episodes we dedicate to just Blippy Blippy beef Blippy beef Blippy beefing Biff, beefing with Blippy happily. 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 I watch that shit and I'm like, am I supposed to not like him? And listen, Blippi, if you're listening, get it the fuck together. Get it the fuck together. You're a mess, dude. And you shit on your friend that one time. Excuse me? Yeah, um, before he became Blippi, <laughs> he did uh one oh, what was it? The the uh there was the viral sensation of like you're very still and then the music. Harlem kicks Shake? In. Yeah, Harlem Shake, Travis. except the reveal was him shitting on his friend. And then he became Blippy. So Child's YouTube, this episode's all for us, by the way. It's starting to seem like Child's YouTube sensation Blippy uh-huh. dumped on his friend? As yeah, he dumped on his yeah. friend. This is known. 
This, this is not by me. That's even well, more reason know. for us to take this dude down a fucking notch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you guys ever watch children's YouTube and think like, I should have gotten into that? Every I should have just done that. Every life. day, every day, every day. Do you know how many people are on there like, hey, I made slime, thanks for a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to open up these toys to go, look at this. Oh, fuck, I should have done that. Fuck. Well, instead well, we did time to six, wrap it up. 600 episodes of yeah. hard work. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like to sit on my comfortable laurels, please. Time to coast. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, congratulations to Connor Ratliff for booking Tom Hanks on his show. Uh, huge moment you know, for watched, podcasting, yeah. I think. Huge, vi- yeah. huge victory. Finally, a celebrity is on a podcast. Next. If you haven't listened to Dead Eyes, Connor's show, it is fantastic. And we're so proud of him. Uh, and Connor, if you're listening, if you could put in a good word for us with Tom Hanks. Uh, Why can't him. we? If, 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 listen, if Tom is on. doing, if Tom is is casting his net as it were. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd yeah. love to get him on here. If you could put in a good word, Connor, and say like, yeah, he's these fine. are like the guys who like inspired me to do it all and like, I wouldn't be here without him and like, you kind of owe me. Whatever Thank you want to say, Connor, is up to you. These but. heroes of podcasting. Hey, brothers. I am an adult. You can't, <laughs> you can't start sentences that way without yeah. sounding like you are two kids in a trench coat. 100%. I am definitely an adult, and I would like one adult ticket for an adult, please. I would like to see this grown folks movie, please. Please. <laughs> I am an adult making my way in the world, and in conversation with my mother, whenever some significant problem arises to bu- from bureaucracy, such as my apartment building council or issues with government services. She has recently gotten into a pattern of telling me to quote, go to the media about my issue. (laughs) I'm simply not sure how to respond or what to do with his suggestions. Do news outlets accept random people coming with stories these days? Would any of this be noteworthy? What possible benefit could going to the media have? And that's from the unwilling correspondent. When you're going to go to the media, you're going to get your story out there. Yeah. You got to get your story out there. You got to let people know what's happening. Make your voice heard, right? Your voice is your most powerful weapon. Make your voice heard about this to the people in the media. Uh, You know? I mean, me and Justin used to be the media. I I regret to to inform everyone that we were, you know, cronies on the take. And I think I would have definitely loved getting an email from somebody saying like, my landlord is a real piece of shit. And then the story would just be like breaking. Landlord is a piece of shit. Um, And then actually that's true of every landlord. So I'm not sure. It would be actually more news if it was like, landlord pretty decent actually. Yeah, this landlord is pretty cool. I had a leaky pipe and he came to fix it within 48 hours. Love this landlord. I couldn't make rent this month because of various hardships and they totally understood. And didn't give me a hard time about it at all. My it was landlord great. is the landlord from the, the Spider Man movies. And I love uh, him. He's very good. <laughs> He's pretty great. The one bathroom is a problem. But other than that, it's not bad. Not bad at it's all. It's not bad. I think, uh, by the way, more, uh, you've made me think now, Griffin, more news outlets, no matter what their focus, should be slash local issues. So if it was like video game journalism slash. Local issues. Mm. It would be wonderful. Be like, new Sonic game. And also, what's the deal with this pothole in front of Tom's house? What are we going to fucking deal with this? It kind of depends on where you're at. Like, here in Huntington, um, you absolutely could get front page with some. Yeah, a few days ago, the front page story was a lovely fr- February morning at the skate park. Oh, so, that sounds yeah, lovely. Yeah. Whoa, that's what, a wait, great story. Huntington's got a skate park? Guess, yeah. Yes, you guess? You haven't been out there? Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I haven't been there to shred just yet. You gotta shred! You gotta be shredding. You want, you're gonna leave it unshredded, and then the city council's gonna be like, "Mm, no one's shredding on this, I guess we better better pave paradise and put up a (laughs) parking lot. Turn it into a fucking library or some boring shit Oh my God, can you imagine? Oh, it makes me sick. Oh no! Get out there and fucking shred, You gotta shred. Listen, I I know what you're saying. You, you only shred little now, but give it a year. Are Look you at all you could accomplish? I mean, I don't go to the dog park either. We got a dog park. I don't go to the go dog park. Go fucking dog park! You don't well, need a dog either. to do that. They That's what they want you to think. You can just go and enjoy other people's dogs. And it's is not that weird. a weird vibe? No, what? No, oh, no, listen. No. Is that a weird vibe to go to the, the dog park and be like, just here's scopes and pups? No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, it's fine. It's a cool thing. Um, as long as you offer to pay the dog owners like an hourly rate for you to look at their dogs, it's fine. It's There's totally nothing okay. weird about it. Extra for touching. Mm. That sound bite, Trav, is gonna. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> that sound bite's gonna live in that Griffin. That silence was Griffin debating whether or not to hang a lantern on. <laughs> I, I don't think that the, I don't think that the people who need that sound bite needed me to put any extra spice. On. Like I think they heard it and they said, "Ooh, finally, he said it." Is there any other Ooh, wild that's going on the board? Is there any? Is, is we're six hundred episodes in? Or is there any other wild shit that people have wanted us to say out loud that they can then just like have that for what about, whenever they? What about that? Like would a, be, that would be a good episode. Mm-hmm. What, let me hit you guys with this idea. What okay. if we did an episode that is like we're tired of coming up with it? Yeah. yeah, we let you. We let the listeners write it. And just like everybody gets to send in one line. Oh, that's good. And then we'll just read all the lines. I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with just doing like a short, like, mmm, juicy. Write something that you can just like snip out there. Add that to the soundboard. Then it's turning into sort of Earthworm Jim. Like, I'm saying, like, I think that extra for touching (laughs) is something that people are going to be able. And when I say it like that, I'll do it like extra for touching so that people know what I'm saying, but they can't use the clip. Um, but people, that's like very specific and people are like, Ooh, okay. I can put that on my, you know, only fans or whatever as a funny, like, like a joke, like, Oh, you know, a lot of people have like cool animated gifs and like soundbite jokes on their only fans page. Yeah. It'll be, uh-huh. it'll be like that basically. <laughs> well, here's what we'll do Griffin from now on. Whenever we have something that we're like, that's a great soundbite that people are going to pull. We'll throw some copyrighted music underneath it. Uh, oh. like, like a bird put that underneath it right and then yeah. it's like oh it's there but you can't use it it's behind glass now you can't oh fuck it's so tantalizing you want to use but you can't extra for but you can't because right behind it is Limp Biscuits. one of those days oh I thought you said that Limp Biscuit wrote I am like a bird I only fly away well Which, they did but they didn't perform it they did that cover that I thought was so good I'm like a bird <laughs> <There you go. laughs> a little something like this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where my home is. Any other qu- I forget what we don't go to the media. They have it hard enough already. Start your own media. Do support local news. Though. Do that. That's, that's local a, news is very important. It's yeah, wow. It's, thanks. It's wow. Thanks, by. guys. You know what you could do? You could take out an ad. Mm-hmm. That way, you're funneling money into the pockets of local media, but you are getting the word out. Interesting. Oh, hey, my my landlord Dylan leaves his stinky sausage casings in the community trash can, and I wish he would stop. Well, that's a trash can, though, Justin. Like, it's the community trash can, Travis. Yeah, but you you're not going to a trash can expecting. Listen, a- okay, I live in a hovel in the the worst state in America. I don't know how big city people live. I don't know if they have a community trash can. But even if they do, Justin, we're telling you they don't. Context clues, you can figure out that if the trash can is stinky, you can't (laughs) complain about it. I have two trash cans. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Outside the yeah. big cans. Oh yeah. Where I throw all my trash. I yeah. Really With your powerful is, bags. Yes. One is stinky. And I don't like to open it. Uh huh. And the other is not stinky. It's Absolutely. a fresh smell. Oh yeah. So I preferentially will get, get as much trash in there. Yeah. In into Mister Good Vibes as I oh, can. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Because yeah. because hefty stink over there. I don't like to open him because he smells. I bad. Have There's heard. nothing I can. Do Anyone about that who has more than one trash can has a has a like starter. And then there's a B string. Absolutely. Positively. I but keep... even the good trash can, Justin, is a trash can. I felt actually really guilty because I took my huge trash can filled with wood scraps mm. up there. And they're going to pick it up thinking it's just a regular day of newspapers and mm. bottles. Nah. And they're going to be hoisting about 300 like, was pounds. Was somebody building a bridge up here? Yeah. Um, yeah. Juice, I think there are probably lots of people at home that know more about your sort of garbage preferences than like their own. Yeah. And that's yeah. a great sign of a great podcast, I think. I I make less because I've been trying to do more recycling. Oh, good. Yeah, that's great. That's good for you. 
God, you guys That's are good. really up on your fucking high horses today, aren't you? You know what I do? Pre-cycling. Whoa, what's that? I go through other people's trash and I take stuff out of it and I use that. The best part about recycling is we have a community recycling where you have to take it and just I get like free reign to just look at what other people are recycling. Nice. <laughs> See what That's they're dope. <laughs> just making a few snap judgments about my community. What kind okay. of I mean, what do they got going on in there? Just like sometimes it's like, wow, you guys eat a lot of little pizzas, huh? Oh, wow, you're really plowing through these things. What What could they, what do they have? I don't understand what box, are they like little pizza boxes? Yeah, they're like little pizza boxes. Well, that's good, Griff. You put that together all on your own. Yes, they recycled little pizza boxes, which makes me think that they ate a lot of little pizzas. But who's giving out little pizzas in little boxes? Now, I assume Griffin did. Justin's talking, talking about like about? a frozen pizza you would buy from the store. Yes, okay. a dollar pizza, like in college. Okay. My daughter, my four-year-old daughter came home yesterday and insisted that she had eaten 10 small pizzas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> At her grandmother's house that she had eaten 10 small pizzas and she would not back down. No, no matter how many times I kept pushing back, she said, no, I eat 10 of the chunky boys. I, <laughs> I, I love she, Cooper so much. Did I she ate mean 10 of the chunky boys. You did not. She did not eat 10 pizzas. Does she mean bagel bites? bites? No, she didn't. I got there before you. No, she didn't. She was talking about the little round, you know, uh, what you, like party pizzas. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. Party pizzas. Yeah. Yeah, she said she ate 10 of them. That's not true. It's impossible. Now, I said, we'll say well, she ate dinner very poorly. No. So maybe, maybe, I mean, more than none for sure, but no way, 10, right? No, not 10 chunky boys. Our parenting styles are so different because I would, I like would believe her. You know what I mean? Yeah. And support, like, oh, wow. go ahead and eat 10 pizzas, sweetie. Daddy loves you. Yeah, you'll be president someday and you're, you're going to need be that president. pizza energy. Uh huh. You're going to be so big and strong with that 10 pizzas inside of you. Yeah, like Louisa as my... Yeah, I would make it relatable and be like, yeah. like how Louisa ate 10 pizzas and then got super strength, and then she'll That's be like... That's where she got her power That from, is yeah. not what happens in the movie. We can't keep talking about it. Well, we don't talk about Louisa either. either. Jesus. Jesus, yeah, who I'm, the I'm fuck can we talk about? Can the I talk cool, about Camilo, cool. please? No, can't talk about Camilo. Hey. Does he smell like the person he turns into? No, you can't. Yes, I mean, he would definitely, I mean, okay, his physiology would completely adapt to that of the person he's copied, including like sweat glands and like all that But shit. not like the smells they That's picked up throughout the day. You chemically know. His body knows. Do you know what I mean? Like his body. But the, the clothes wouldn't smell like. I don't want to do this. But his I don't clothes. Do Here's a question. Why? Yeah. Here's a question. No. Okay. Okay. That's a statement. That's a good question. That's a question. Stop it. Um. Do you guys want to talk to the wizard on this or this? Yeah. You always do it second. I. I'm tired of not having the variety in the show. I'm tired of the predictability. Okay. Whatever happened to predictability? It's See, gone I even from knew show. that you were going to do a full house go- joke there. Fuck. I noticed episodes. my lips mm-hmm. getting tired while kissing my husband lately. Oh man, I've noticed that while kissing your husband too. Buzz yeah, it's a know. workout. <laughs> God, he, your husband's doing some stuff in there. Yeah, it's taxing, heavy lifting. It's almost like they cramp up and get numb while we're smooching. Yeah, maybe it's from talking or smiling too much throughout the day. Mm-hmm. As full time podcasters, is this something y'all have experienced? If so, any suggestions on lip exercises or resting strategies? That's from Lazy Lips in Atlanta, which I I don't. This feels like a Sawbones weird medical question episode, but no, you've come to the right place. Yeah. I thought, well, first we could show you the, we do about 20 minutes of lip warm ups before every episode. Uh, Red leather, yellow leather. It goes like, I mean, this mouth don't quit. Yeah. Mm. This one, this one does not quit. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's true for everyone. Apparently not. Um, I didn't think I had like a special mouth, but I guess it's like pretty good. Um, yeah, because it doesn't quit. Like it never gets tired, and it's always hungry for more. Yeah. I, <laughs> um, podcasting. Oh, okay. And wow, this is a soundbite heavy episode, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. Um. What is? What's he doing in there? <laughs> What's he doing in there? What is he doing? Is what he is, wrestling? Is is he making you do too much work? There should be an ebb and flow. Oh, oh yeah. there's some yeah. people who think like when I do kissing, 
it has to be bigger than the other per. Like my mouth has to get over the other per. It's like a dominance thing where it's like I gotta yeah. get this mouth over their mouth. To yeah, get I'm glad we're talking about this. Thank yeah. you. Now, um, in a perfect world, when you kiss, you you both would firmly press your lips together, stay still, yes. for an extended amount of time, and then disconnect. Right, yeah. that's the ideal, but you're not always gonna get that, obviously. No. Right, so sometimes it's about their lips go left, yours go right, you know what I mean? And then you kind of do, you know, the swirl, right? As you chase each other around. The swirl! Yeah, yeah. The, the lips move around the tongue. And, People know what the well, swirl is, Trap. Yeah, yeah, obviously. The swirl. Yeah, um, and if that's gonna happen, you gotta make sure you're moving at the same speed, right? Because mm. sometimes if one swirl is faster than the other, you're gonna catch up. Yeah. Right? And that can cause a lot of issues. It's a big problem with our country today. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you for saying it. You know, a lot of podcasts <laughs> are afraid of dealing with the, like, the tough issues. Yeah. Not here, right? Whatever happened to good old-fashioned smooching? Kids today have all these viral smooches that they do on TikTok. I've seen it. Yeah, they a take their challenges. Yeah, they take their lips and they waggle them back and forth around their knees. Right, I hate that. I you know, just I think it's gross, and it makes me want to barf when I see that. Absolutely, press together, count to ten, break apart, say thank you for the smooch. Yeah, and then go about your day. That part's so important. Yeah, a lot of people don't do that anymore, and it's really been the death of civility. Whatever happened? Death of civility, whatever happened yeah. to this great nation of ours? Thank you, Griffin. People used to. I'm smooch. sorry, I keep equating bad kissing with, and I don't mean bad kissing. I'm sure your husband's an excellent kisser. Well, um, if it goes numb, I don't know, Griffin. Yeah, numb, going numb. Numbness is not what we're looking for, typically. Not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> is he we putting something on his lips? Is he smearing some toxins prank, on there? Prank it kiss. Be, prank kissing. It will. It will let you do the stranger though. Oh, that's what? that move where it's like, who is my husband kissing? That's because your lips are not. I don't you know think what I mean? that's how that works. I don't think that's what it is. Are that you sense. are you kissing poison ivy or perhaps uh Who's like a villain from James ivy. Bond? That's entirely Did you ever think about that? Yes. Because like, the cramping up, that seems like a you problem. You gotta get some more, I don't know, iron, vitamins. I don't know, maybe just like some more uh you gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. But the numb is troubling. The numb's troubling. Um are your circulation good? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Are your lips sitting dormant for too long? I'm just thinking about circulation. Oh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're suggesting that they're not kissing enough. Well, just not, yes. not, yes. not on a, st I would say not in a, um, you can kiss too much in a short amount of time, right? right? And then be dormant the rest of them. You got to spread it out in an even, like, one kiss every five minutes for 24 hours, an entire 24 hours. What's he doing? It's really, guys, it's really hard for me to give advice on this one without knowing what he's even doing in there. Yeah, what is he doing in there? Because that's never been my experience. Are you sure he knows it's kissing? Like, you're kissing, but he's, like, wrestling. He's, this is a challenge, he's trying to win. And he's like, oh, we were kissing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Do you guys think that our listeners want to hear us talk about kissing as much as we I bet. I bet they have had their belly I think, I think they've they had their belly sated, fall. for sure. Yeah, I think they sure. are. Yes, that thirst has been slaked. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, can we go to the wizard now? Yeah. Yes, now we can go to the he's, wizard. He's, he's looking over me like, I heard you say my name. And I got myself prepared for it, and then you didn't. I show. made crudite. And you know what happened? <laughs> I prepared my physical form. He turned my wife into a fucking frog, and I oh, think that's man. and I think that sucks. How is to he going to turn her back? How to spoil a chihuahua? Mm. Thank you. Well, just leave it out in the sun too long. <laughs> what happens to a chihuahua in the sun? Uh, <laughs> because of their size and lovable nature, chihuahuas are both easy and fun to spoil. Well, chihuahuas love getting lots of attention for their owners and other people. Treats, clothing, and other gifts are some of the most common ways to make your chihuahua look like a neighborhood celebrity. Take your dog out on adventures when you can make them feel even more like a prince or princess. However, yes. keep in mind that some dogs may misinterpret being spoilt. They say, like an old-timey like gentleman, uh, in being spoilt and behave badly as a result, such as by being aggressive or nipping. Oh, that Hey, 
wiki how? Yeah. Can we just say it's wild that you're like, they might equate being spoiled with being able to behave badly and get away with it. Hey, wiki how? Those are often synonymous. That is how it is attached usually in the animal brain. Um, so give your chihuahua a big bed to sleep on. By the what? way, the the undercurrent of this article is I wish I was the author of this article's chihuahua because they are they would set me up with the sweetest fucking life, the sweetest life of Zach and Cody, like imaginable. <laughs> Uh, chihuahuas like their naps and sleep 12 to 14 days on average. So you get a big fluffy bed, stack some soft blankets. Wait, you said 12 to 14 days? 12 to f- on, a- a- on average? 12 to like, 14, on average what? 12 to 14 hours a day on average. Did I say 12 Thank to 14 you. days on average? Yeah. Yeah. That would be gr- I would love that pet. Where's your chihuahua? I'm a pet him. Oh, it's, he's asleep for a fortnight. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season. <laughs> hey, uh, he'll be back on the 15th. <laughs> probably. There, and then he's back. Papa would- <laughs> when is my birthday? Well, not for three hounds wakings. <laughs> my dove? Give a take. Give a take three hounds wakings. Um, okay, uh, get a variety. Hey, don't give your dog a big bed. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Um, it's a little dog, though, so it's like you're spoiling this. Yeah, but dogs breakfast. need stuff to cuddle up against. No, not this dog. This, okay. dog needs, <laughs> this dog doesn't care about affection. It cares about being a boss baby. Chihuahuas are also notoriously cold all the time. Not this chihuahua, because you okay. spoiled him by keeping your house at 97 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's the next a step. A keep, dog's favorite temperature. Keep that Keep that nest set specifically to 97 degrees, always. Mm-hmm. Get a variety of toys for your dog. Yeah, I mean, every spoiled dog has a big basket brimming with colorful toys. Yeah, um, obviously. That sounds like a vocal warm-up that you can do before kissing your husband. A big brimming big, big basket, basket of toys. brimming with colorful toys. Um, uh, serve food and water and customized dog bowls. I think a Chihuahua yes. is definitely going to understand what that means. Pamper them; they can see color. They can see color and read. <laughs> now, I think we can all agree. If you grew up when these commercials were on, there was a series of commercials in which dogs were served out of a crystal goblet. Well, that was the fancy food. feast. The fancy feast commercial, and like, what else would you serve it in? Right. I mean, absolutely. But I remember being a kid and watching that. I was like, that's fucking lunch. You know how when we eat a fancy meal, we usually do, like humans, I mean, do Uh eat it out of a crystalline goblet. Um, Thank you for clarifying that when you said we. I did mean humans. You were talking about humans. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, Choose specialized collars and leashes for your dog. Again, they aren't going to know that. Yeah, they can't. Now, they literally can't see that. You know that, right? That's like behind their seeing like stuff. Yeah, the stuff they used to see. That well, I guess most of us use. Um, no, we wear necklaces though, don't we? Yeah, no. but, yeah, and earrings. Now, what if you got them like a collar that smelled like bacon? Oh, that would now nah, that's gonna go that poorly. Would, you that know, would I send said them that. into an absolute, <laughs> an absolute spiral yeah. of madness. <laughs> I swear to fucking you, God, smell it too, right? right? Hey, you got, hey, why are these other dogs biting my neck? <laughs> <laughs> You've turned, you are the forbidden meat. You are, you're the smoky secret. Um, set up a quiet area for your chihuahua to escape when it's stressed. Hey, oh, that's not yeah. spoiling. That's just a good idea. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah spoilings are good ideas. Yeah. Well, I idea don't know. That's like saying like, oh, your kid is so spoiled. Sometimes when they're stressed out, you let them just chill out and read a book. Fucking spoiled, man. I feel like I can if, find reasons to get stressed in basically every room of my house. So I'm not sure that yeah, I have yeah. this. And that's also dependent on the extent to which it is spoiling is also dependent on the amount of space that you have available to you. Like if somebody walks in, they're like, uh, welcome to my one bedroom apartment. And they're like, wait, I thought you had a two bedroom. It's like, well, I did. I have the bedroom that I sleep in, which is also the kitchen. And then over here is the room where my chihuahua goes. <laughs> just to, Mr. Smooch just goes and just fucking chill out and eat orange slices. Yeah, you know? um, uh, Griffin, I really like that you uh, clarified that in every room of your house you're stressed out. But like that's because the dog isn't aware of like any kind of geopolitical or like social issues. Yeah, but like I mean, I, but I mean, it's the house itself. Like obviously, I can find a reason to be stressed out about that shit, like non nonstop. But um, you know, I. Um, I, I, I like I need an observatory or something. Oh yeah. Like a tower. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be so dope to just go out there and look at some beautiful stars. I need like an observatory and a conservatory 
Um, any other like a lot of toys? Yeah. Yeah. Anything you got? A a laboratory? laboratory. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um. Do you guys want to know more ways that you can spoil a Chihuahua? Yeah. You guys remember that movie, Beverly Hills yeah, Chihuahua? Yeah, obviously. Well, Mr. Shivers has been giving me some looks lately, and I feel like I haven't done enough. Well, you should buy your Chihuahua stylish clothing. That fits. And I love that they included oh. that last part. The fit has that, to no, be the, so yeah. right. That actually explains a lot. His cape has been dragging lately. I've noticed that. I don't give him Chihuahua Jinko jeans. He won't know what But he asked do for him that. by <laughs> name. <laughs> no, he did. And it's weird that your Chihuahua can bark like that. No, I taught him to use the buttons. But to be fair, I only gave him a button that says Jinko jeans. Yeah, that's true. Uh, set it, okay, so now this is about to do affection. Just. I give him a steak every time he pushes the button. Set aside time in the day to give your dog lots of attention. That's dope. Yes, sure. sir, y- Yes, Mr. Jenkins, I swear I will have that report on your desk. Uh, by the end of the day, I just beep, 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 beep. Oh, fuck, I gotta go! <laughs> that's the snuggle noise. You have brought your chihuahua to work with you in this example. Yes, so, obviously, of course. Yeah. yeah. Remember to spoil tr- your chihuahua even during busy days. Creating a daily routine mm. helps ensure your dog has plenty of attention no matter what else you have going on. I love that. At a funeral. Beep, 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 beep. Gotta go. Sorry. No, Sorry. you wouldn't go to the funeral, right? Someone would be like, hey, can you come to this cool funeral I'm going to? I'm throwing it. It's going to be awesome. I'd love to have you there. And you're like, can you throw a funeral? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what else are you going to do, Justin? Just phone it in? Come on. And then you're like, yeah, what time? And they're like, 2 p.m. You're like, ooh. Ooh. That that's a, Can you move it to like 5.30? Um, so, uh, pet your dog, give it belly rubs. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is, like, whatever. Teach your dog commands for a fun way to ner- learn new tricks. I don't think, actually, that's spoiling them. Yeah. That's like, from maybe learning, the opposite. Learning things, for me, is not, like, a luxurious, like, mm, I've earned this. I'm going to, you know, figure out how to tie a, a ship, ship knot. Wow, I couldn't even think of a name of like a sorry. What is it? A again? ship uh, <laughs> Slipknot. I'm gonna learn how to sing Slipknot's greatest hits. A monkey fist. Yeah. Um, throw a Chihuahua party with cake and presents. This is great. Yeah. Celebrate your dog by making it a star for the day. Invite your dog's friends to come over, even the ones you don't like. Wrap up mm. some nice presents such as new toys or clothing. Then get a cake made from safe ingredients like peanut butter, applesauce, and pumpkin. Have a party yeah. for your dog's birthday, a special occasion, or for the sp- sake of spoiling your dog on a random day. Awesome. Now listen, take it from me, and this is so fucking important. Yeah? Don't make the cake look like the chihuahua. It causes so much psychological damage when Mr. Shivers saw the other dogs tearing Eating and tearing to flesh. his form. Oh right. Oh my God. It um, was a whole thing. That's me. That's, stop. stop. No, 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 that's my brother. Uh, take your chihuahua on a walk once a day. That seems like basic sort of shit. Get a new yeah, house. That's not really spoil. I uh, no, I don't spoil my dog. I don't take him out. <laughs> spoil your dog by giving it food. <laughs> Allow your dog the basic necessities of life. Um, get a new household pet to keep your dog company. They are not going to mm, like that. Big, yeah, big ass scary dog. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, you're going to have to get a smaller, like, uh, don't do a chinchilla. They're too clever. Uh, you're going to want to get your dog a lizard. To destroy. Well, not yeah. even eat. Not even eat. He won't be nourished by the lizard. He will just destroy it for fun. For, for, I was for just cool trying to fun. say, like, if this was an animated feature... And I wanted to give my Chihuahua a buddy. I think it's, I think it's an. I think it's a lizard. Bring your dog with you when you're on the go in a little backpack. They're gonna fucking hate that too. This article has gone off the rails. Find new friends for your dog outside of your home. How? I can't find human friends for myself outside of the home. (laughs) Well, this is your way in now. You find other people with with puppers. Hey, you seem they... cool. Do you have a dog? No, no. Oh, fuck. fuck you. Then. Our our interests really align in a lot of ways, but you ain't got no dog, and he's the boss around here. I don't know if you could tell that. Can you please help me get out from under my dog? Like, if you could help me escape this dog. Hmm. Let other people play with your dog if Chihuahua is friendly. This is a long article, huh? Seems that way. Upgrade to a quality dog food with healthy ingredients. Again, if you know that that option is out there and you do have the means to do it and you don't do it, I don't know that we're talking about spoiling anymore. Spoil your dog by elongating its life. 
And its legs. And its legs. <laughs> Give your dog longer legs. This chihuahua, it's all it wants. Boy, all it be, wants is to be about four or five feet tall. That would be sick. Normal chihuahua body with fucking legs that go all the way to the ground. This fucking Slender Man shit. This, this is Slender Man's <laughs> dog. <laughs> Slender <laughs> dog. <laughs> Give your dog special treats like peanut butter ice cream. We're really repeating ourselves now. This one has stopped being fun. Bathe and brush your chihuahua. <laughs> Bathe and brush your chihuahua at least once a month. Trim your dog's nails once? at least once every three months. Okay, th- this one wraps it up with like bare necessities shit, it seems like. Anyway, it was better at the beginning, don't you think? The <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um. Th- uh, Were you about to wrap well, up the podcast? No, I was about to ask if you wanted to come with me to the money zone. It sounded like there was a thanks in there. What and were we you thanking? Say thank you. Thanks, Let's... thanks for the bit. Thanks for the comedy. Griffin. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the program. Uh-huh. We should do that after each time one of us does like a special bit. <laughs> thanks for the smooch. <laughs> thanks for the bit. Or, or any any good. Instead joke. of yeah, laughing, thank you for, no thank more you for laughing that. at jokes anymore. People get on us for <laughs> laughing at our own jokes. So from now on, yeah. no more jokes. Laughing at them. Wow. Instead, we're just going to thank you. I'll thank you for that. I feel a good feeling now inside because of that. Thank you. Good. Let's go to the money. It's better. It's better with you. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Listen, we all buy things for our chihuahua, Right. You're out there, you're buying a big bed, so, like, you can make an even bigger bed, giant bed, obviously, right? You're going to glue them all together, and you're going to get your dog its own RV that you're going to tow behind your much smaller RV, because that's what you deserve. And when you're buying online, you could use Honey to save money on the things you buy for your chihuahua, right? How? Mm -hmm. How? Justin, ask me how. How? Read the copy, Justin. Okay. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet. Why are you yelling? Because I love you so much, and one time you were mean to Mr. Shivers, and he's never forgiven you. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. When you check out, the Honey button. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. That is definitely what I'm calling my penis from now on. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Sorry, Honey. The Honey button appears and... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, All you have it to does. Do is cl- <laughs> yeah, it sure does, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah. Usually it's inverted, but the honey button has appeared. Oh, internet deals? Here come the honey button. <laughs> Didn't you guys used to do ads? Yeah, the, actually, it's illegal now. The FTC said we can't anymore. Yeah, it's illegal. We're on a list now. All you have to do is click apply coupons. If honey finds a working coupon... You'll watch the prices drop. And Honey doesn't just work on your desktop. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone. Save on the go. Griffin uses Honey all the time to save on embarrassing products that he doesn't want anyone to know about. He tells me all about it. He saved just this year on embarrassing products alone. Yep. $2.5 million. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That, well, that's how many embarrassing products Griffin buys. Wow, Griffin, that's so embarrassing. Um, they're li- that's, they're lying. I don't buy any special products for my butt. Uh, that's not what the media says. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash brother. That's joinhoney.com slash brother. Stitch Fix is what I use for Mm -hmm. when I'm like trying to like peacock a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. I see. If I want to stand out in a crowd, I will put on the clothes that I get from Stitch Fix because I have, I have tailored my sort of uh, profile on there to be just a lot of um, cravats. And uh, it's actually, they send me a box with five cravats in it and I keep them all because I, uh, I just love these damn things, and I definitely know what a cravat is. Yeah. It, if it's like an ascot, right? It's like a neck kerchief. So Stitch Fix has me covered for looking good. Why not do it for you? Don't you want to look like me? Yes, hey, listeners. Yes, hey, listeners. Don't you want to look like me? Well, you can with Stitch Fix. 
Whether you need refined workwear or casual basics, Stitch Fix can help elevate your look. Take it to the next level. You can schedule a fix. A style expert will look at your profile you fill out where you tell them how, how, how big a boy you are and what kind of stuff you like. And then they send you a box with five pieces that fit your style, size, and price range. And you can also just like do the shopping yourself with Stitch Fix Freestyle. They make like a special little curated shop just for you that you can buy from and put it on and step outside and just get just get swarmed by babes. So get started today by filling out your Steve, your Steve Frile quiz. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Steve Frile. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Frile, and I'm trying, it's time to test your knowledge of me and my life. These are my Fitch sticks. Um, <laughs> fill out your freestyle quiz at stitchfix.com slash my brother and get free shipping and returns. Stitchfix.com slash my brother. Most game shows quiz contestants about topics they don't even care about. But for 100 episodes, the Go Fact Yourself podcast has asked celebrity guests trivia about topics they choose for themselves. And introduced them to some of their personal heroes along the way. Oh my gosh. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh my stuff. <laughs> It's so, so exciting to meet you. Join me, J. Keith Van Stratton. And me, Helen Hong, along with special guests DJ Jazzy Jeff and Faith Saley, plus some amazing surprise experts on the 100th episode of Go Fact Yourself. And join us twice a month, every month, for new episodes of Go Fact Yourself here on Maximum Fun. It's the dramatic conclusion of Minority Corner with your host, James Arthur M. Yes, that's right. After seven years, this will be the end. Will James and his guest co-hosts solve racism, homophobia, and sexism? Will James end his longtime feud with Jennifer Hudson? Will someone get married, turn out to be an evil twin? Will James and his guest co-hosts talk about news, pop culture, history, and all things nerdy? Probably. Yeah, that's probably the one that will definitely happen. Find out on the dramatic conclusion of Minority Corner right here on Maximum Fun or wherever you get your podcasts. Minority Corner, because together we're the majority. Oh, thank you, Justin. Thank you. I want a munch. Squad. I want a munch. Squad. Okay. Welcome, Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast, uh, profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Uh, just a quick note here the Signature Club sandwich is replacing the Zaxby's Club sandwich. Oh. This isn't a joke or anything. It's just like a programming note. Okay. If you like the Zaxby's Club, the signature club is replacing that menu item. Does it, uh, does it say it when it's going to be replaced, Justin, so I can stock up? Right. So let me walk you through the chronology. Well, first off, a bit from Joel Bulger the CMO of Zaxby's with the launch of our new signature club sandwich. We created our own club remix hmm. Hmm. Of the signature sandwich and turned it up a notch. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. How? Knowing our fans, that's F A N Z. No, no, they didn't say that. We are giving them something additional to rave about and announce a well-kept secret. I killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't have Joel anything to do with the sandwich, but it feels good to get it off my chest. I killed my dad, Jimmy Hoffa. Anyway, our signature You'll never guess where he's buried. Enjoy the sandwich. <laughs> our signature sandwich is officially here to stay as a permanent menu item. In October 2020, the brand sent out its Y'all Ready tweet. What? And revealed its new signature sandwich in test markets before rolling it out nationwide in March 2021. During the test, Zaxby's new signature sandwich exceeded the performance of the existing hand-breaded filet by 600%. Price get the lot. fuck out. Get the fuck How? out is what everybody said to the original. How bad was your original sandwich <laughs> original doing? must have been dog shit. Oh, God, they replaced that fucking trash. And there's also a light version. Oh, fuck. It. Yeah, if you, if you want that. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. 
And now a quick note from me. There he is. Don't, don't Thanks for There's coming. There's my buddy. Thank you, Count Donut. I'm so excited to be back here with you boys. You know, if you ever want to just do the whole show. I always am on the whole show. What? What does that even I mean? Lurk in, I lurk in silence waiting for my moment. But what about the part where there's only one pair of footprints in the sand? That is where I'm nodding silently instead of laughing. Oh, thank you. I don't get the most of the jokes. That's fair. I don't either, but, and I tell most of them. But the tone of her voices give me ASMR. Oh, I don't know that I'm, huh. I'm crazy about that. It's no, it's not. It's awesome, sanguine meridian response. <laughs> it's hearing <laughs> your blood pumping through and thinking, "Oh, that the hungry." You want that? Do you or human bodies like Krispy Kreme? You know that they do. Well, good news. It's time to ruin those bodies. Put them straight in the ground with this new one. Wait, is that what it says on the press release? <laughs> hey, I'm Krispy Kreme's for... got a new one out. It's time to ruin those bodies and put them straight it's... in the ground with these. <laughs> <laughs> these coffin nails <laughs> come directly from Krispy Kreme. Put this in your <laughs> face and put your face in the ground. <laughs> This is, shh, listen, Twix, Chris, Krispy Kreme has partnered with Twix for first ever irresistible caramelly cookie <laughs> <laughs> I swear it says this cookie -y crunchy donut. I don't want a crunchy donut. Cookie -y? Can you, how does it, cookie how is it spelled? K O sorry, that would be wild. <laughs> <laughs> and also that would be kooky, which is a different word. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, this would be on brand for Krispy Kreme. C O O K I E. What is the dash? What do you call the dash? Dash. 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 I E. Cookie E. <laughs> oh, they went I E. Interesting. Cookie E. -E. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, this is the wildest beginning of a press release. Always siding with deliciousness, Krispy Kreme is partnering with Twix. What is that? Who, who is choosing sides yeah. in this battle? Well, you what know, this conflict? Count Donut, you're not around all the time, but there are some times where a restaurant will come out and be like, we wanted to do something shitty and bad. Yeah. And it's like, oh, man, well, why would you guys announce say, that? I guess they say healthy. Uh -huh. Krispy Kreme is partnering with Twix for the first time ever to create three all new caramel -y e. cookie -y Again. Yeah. crunchy donuts, including, boys, stuffing an entire Twix cookie box no. inside the delicious Krispy Kreme. Donut. That's not how I would have done it. No. I feel so bad for the teenagers that work at Krispy Kreme. On February twenty first for a limited time. Yes, they make them. <laughs> they make them put their own personal. Yeah, tweaks. I brought these tweaks from home. <laughs> put it in. The oh, that's a great side. idea. Put it in there. Anything what? For our... the long jump. Yeah. Um. It's so the caramel cookie crunch bar donut filled with a Twix cookie bar. Fuck, oh, that's a sen that's a sentence that I... No, it's just the name of a donut. This is how I will order it. Hello, Jeremy. <laughs> I'll have the caramel cookie crunch bar donut filled with the Twix cookie bar. <laughs> a bar-shaped donut. I should fucking it. hope so. <laughs> that would be wild, <laughs> yes. If it was a ring donut... With Imagine. a fucking Twix shoved through it, you'd be sent to prison. <laughs> the Twix, the Twix shaper is here. This is our non first non Euclidean offering. Um, so it's uh, what it sounds. It's, it does what it says on the tin. A bar shaped donut filled with chocolate cream and a full size Twix bar dipped in chocolate icing, drizzled with dolce de leche and chocolate icing, and topped with, you guessed it, even more Twix pieces. I hmm. wouldn't have guessed that in my darkest fantasies. <laughs> then there's the caramel cookie crunch original filled donut up with Twix cookie bar pieces. A chocolate iced donut with salted caramel filling topped with Twix bar pieces and drizzled with... This all sounds like too much. I love it Twix. sounds like a little and bit donuts. too much. This all seems like too much. We are always, this is Dave Skinner, you've guessed this already, but we are always looking for new ways to provide our fans an 
awesome donut experience. And until that comes along, we want <laughs> to set the link for cookies in donuts. <laughs> we just started post- shoving stuff in, <laughs> seeing what works. Set us free. So we- Tell us it's good enough, please, Dad. I mean, oops, <laughs> what? <laughs> We've partnered with another iconic brand, Twix, for the first time ever. They don't know it yet. (laughs) (laughs) We just, we bought all of the Twix. That's why we've had to Uh, to hide them inside so cleverly. (laughs) We created mini and fun-sized donuts made with Twix bars and then went even further (laughs) to create a bar-shaped donut with a full-size Twix bar in the middle. Some said we should stop while we were ahead, but we didn't listen to them. We were still worried about if we could. We didn't stop to think about if we should. And now we're selling it. Please buy these donuts. You can tweet about them with a hashtag if you wish. Don't. This is an option that is available to you. Don't. They're available for a limited time, so get there quickly. I think these people are just compensating for the fact that they are not Jolly Pirate. No, yeah, no Baby Beats the Old Man. Listen. No Baby Beats the Old Man, no Twix Cookie Beats the Old Man neither. Now, if you end up tweeting about this, which I'm not encouraging you to, encourage them to do Zagnut next. (laughs) It's huge. Say like, oh, this is great, do Zagnut next. Do a a zero bar, put a zero bar in there. That was was an all-timer count, thank you. Yes, well, it's a pleasure. To you sound really water. tired, Count. Are you okay? I just haven't drank enough blood. Oh, oh okay. wait. You actually kill You actually kill people? Yeah, I kill them. They eat them. <laughs> are, are they all bad people? Uh, uh, aren't we all, though? Oh, man. That's a Every, good question. Wow. One, of my f- one of my favorite uh, Bazooka Joe comics once read, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That was on a Bazooka Joe, huh? Yes, it's one of my favorite. But I, or it may be your Christian Bible. I hold them in the same esteem. Oh wow! Either Big way, things were being said on this episode that we can't, hey, can't Count take Donut, back. I had a thought the other day. I want to run by you. This is not the segment. If I, I get an, only talk about donuts here, and then I leave. If I get an IV I, where the water has been blessed by a priest, and then you drink my blood, will it hurt you? Like if I got a simple, holy it's a water simple IV, question. Count Donut, what don't you understand? If I got a holy water IV and then you drank mm-hmm. my blood, will it hurt you? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Oh. Your, your, it, because it would be mixed with your blood, mm-hmm. which has been contaminated by original sin, ah, which is really ah. the, the cu- it's the cumin of blood. Um, and I, <laughs> the most delicious is the, is, is the original sin. That's what we go. Wild. I actually, uh, sorry, Count Dennis, I actually have extra crispy sin. So, um, I, oh, yes. yeah, that's the good stuff right there. It yeah. does. Oh, it's a lot of work to pump through there, but uh, it's all yeah. the sweeter. You got you. You opted for chunky stuff. Yeah, I can feel it moving all the time and hear it. I love that. Yeah, I it's a that. real problem. I can hear it too, oh yeah. Hey, Count Donut, you're not going to hurt me, right? Yeah, We're Count friends. Donut, this has been your most upsetting appearance to date. Sleep well. Oh, boy. Here's, oh, hey, hey guys, here's the back. problem. And Justin, I'm sorry you have to hear this. I don't think we can kill Count Donut without killing Justin. Yeah, uh, but. Who's Count, sorry, who's Count Donut? Oh, now, you know Justin, who you he know. is. You know he's, mm-hmm. the, he's the donut obsessed, but actual vampire that drinks blood uh, that uh, vampire that takes over your body to do munch squads relating specifically to donuts. And people love him. They think he's super funny. Yeah, but oh, okay. he was just, I'm not going to say overtly threatening, but... But a little, but like a little implicitly, bit. Implicitly, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm not saying we have to slay him, but it's there if we need it. Do we have time for another question? Yeah. I There's a question I want to include here. Um, okay. because we got two questions this week, uh, and I think this will be simple, but I think this is an important PSA here. So I'm going to read them. And I'll tell you why I included them. Recently, I used a shuttle service from airport parking to the main terminal. The only people on the shuttle were me and the driver. When I boarded, she asked me if I was flying Spirit Airlines, and I said no. She responded with, oh, you look like you fly Spirit. I've used Spirit once or twice in traveling, but brothers, this is the wildest comment I've ever heard. What could this possibly mean? And that's from Vax in Virginia. And then this question, 
I recently moved into an apartment building where a lot of elderly folks live. Recently, I was getting on the elevator just as the older couple, as an older couple, was exiting, and they said to me, we warmed it up for you. What does that mean? And what am I supposed to say to that? I laughed awkwardly and said, thanks, and got on. That's from Baffled in BC. Listen, in which folks. way are these two related? I'm going to tell you, Griffin. Okay. I know that it has been uh, two years with very little human contact. Sometimes... People just say things. People just say shit, yeah. And they don't mean yeah. anything. Sometimes there's just, a, they see a void in the air, and they want to fill it with something. This is like when you buy, like, buy a movie theater ticket, right? And they say, enjoy the movie, and you say, you too. That person that sold you the ticket is then like, what do they mean by that? Yeah. What do they know that I don't know? They're like, huh, they just said something. Sometimes people just say things. And I go through these questions every week, folks. And 90% of them are like, listen, that person just opened their mouth and some just dumb shit came out. They were just They talking. weren't thinking about it, but now it's in your head for weeks. Right, you have to process it. Sometimes people just, when that older couple said, we warmed it up for you, they didn't mean shit by that. No. Well, they, unless. Unless. They were ripping they farted real, a bunch? Ripping real doozers. Thank yeah. you, Trav. Thank you. Hey, okay. thanks. Hey, thanks, Travis. You paused a long time, Griffin. I know, because it was going to be so fucking funny when I said. Oh wait, can you big... say it again? Wait, no, it you're again. interrupting me now while I'm explaining it. So just listen to me. Okay, what were you going to say? It was going to be really funny if I waited a long time and then I was like, "We're ripping big doozers." Like that's what I Thank do on this show. It's like <laughs> I you. go quiet. Thank you, Griffin. Uh, it's like a tactical thing. And the longer thing. I go quiet, people are like, what twisted shit is this fucking sicko about to say? And then, yeah. but I can't now when you're talking and saying like, he's about to say some stuff about farts. Well, no, go ahead and say it. No, it's too late. You, you really took the wind out of my sails. Literally. No, not literally. Not literally. He like doesn't farts. have a sail. No, it's farts are the wind. I love, so that I, Travis the wind. Is, I love that Travis had to say, sometimes people just say words. Yeah. Like that's like if, if there's one lesson you're gonna take away from me is that sometimes people just uh, are awkward in silence and have to say fucking something because there's too long of a pause and a break and they're like oh no oh no oh no I gotta say something we warmed it up for you oh thank God oh I almost had to think about my own thoughts for a second um anyway I hope that helps some people just say things sometimes sometimes there's people really just nothing. say shit. There's nothing we can do about that. Right? And you can just let it go. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you have enjoyed yourself, been edified, educated, entertained, all the three, all the, all the, the big ones that we, the, the ones that we aim for. Uh, what else is going on, Trav? You're usually so promotional. Well, I want to tell you, uh, this is more just uh, because our friend, John Hodgman, Dick Town Season 2. It returns to FXX and Hulu on March 3rd, 2022. So that was, let me see, last, what, Friday? Anyways, go check it. I don't know what day it is. No, March th last Thursday. Ah, okay. Because today is the third. John Hodgman plays John Hunchman, a former famous boy detective in Dick Town. David Reese is David Purifoy, uh, the former high school bully who now works as his driver. It's part Scooby-Doo, part BoJack Horseman. Go check it out. Why are you saying it so weird? Can you try again? Yeah. Just say it like normal. Season one was called The Year's Funniest Animated Comedy, and it's available on Hulu at bit.ly slash dicktown. It's only 111 minutes long the whole season, which is just one third of an Avenger movie, just so you know. Season two finds Hunchman and Purefoy finally on the verge of fame, local TV style, and maybe even a steady bank account. Episodes premiere at 10 p.m. on FXX every Thursday in March, uh, and then they'll be streaming the following Friday on Hulu, so go check that out. Uh, 20 Rendezvous Fancy Takes Flight Tour tickets are on sale now. Uh, real quick update on that. We have had to reschedule the D.C., Detroit, and Cincinnati shows because of a conflict. I promise you all the tickets sold for that will be honored. Exactly the same ticket. We're going to do it. Uh, just further down the line, the new dates for those are going to be Cincinnati is going to be November 10th. Detroit is November 11th. Washington, D.C. is November 12th for My Brother, My Brother and Me. And November 13th for Taz. It's wild out there. A lot of people try and get a hold of venues and et cetera, et cetera. But we got stops uh, coming up in St. Louis, Kansas City, 
Kansas City, Minneapolis, Boston, Mashantucket, Salt Lake City, Portland, San Diego, and a virtual Taz in May. So go to bit.ly slash McElroy Tours for ticket links and more info. Uh, mask and proof of full vaccination or negative COVID test within 72 hours of event start is required. Thank you to everybody who joined us for our virtual MBMBM. Uh, video on demand is still available for $10 at bit.ly slash MBMBAM virtual. Our, our dad wrote a children's book. It's coming out uh, on May 10th. It's called Goldie's Guide to Grandchilding. You can pre-order it now at linktree, it's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Goldie's Guide. We got new merch over at MacRoyMerch.com, including uh, the mystery pin of the month, which is going to be a random pin of the month from the past. How exciting. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a, a box of chocolates. You never know. Oh, that's unless you look at the label. Uh, and that benefits the National Asian Pacific American Women's Forum. Um, so go check that out. We got also Candle Nights 2021 special video on demand is up now. It's pay what you want and all proceeds go to Harmony House. So go to McRoyMerch.com. Check that out. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. It's all of the show. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for enjoying, not watching. Well, thanks for consuming. No. Thanks for. Okay, thanks for consuming this. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thanks for it. internalizing it in your own special way. Uh, Griffin, what's your final bit this time? What? You do a final bit every week. Did you forget? Like a different one? Yeah, that was the whole... Travis, am I wrong? No, I believe that this has been the case where it's been different. You've been workshopping different bits to close oh, with. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. Cool. Maybe do one of your like skewed view. Well, observation. how about I do impre- how about this impressions? And you guys could just say Yeah, anyone. let's try cool. impressions. Give me anyone. Uh I'm gonna say <laughs> Seth Rogan. Yeah. Seth Rogan, that's good. Uh, He's a fellow podcast. Right, let's try again. Okay, you ready? Uh pass me that tubers. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, say something about my gloving. <laughs> Why did just? I want to hear him say McLovin. Come on, McLovin, pass me that that fat fucking bong. <laughs> now do the sound of Seth Rogen taking a big bong rip. <laughs> Why do you <laughs> now say what he always says after he does a big bong rip. Oh, chunky butt loving. Yeah, I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. Oh, this is my brother, my brother, me kiss your dad square on the lips. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.